Hey Aries and welcome to your tarot love readings for the one that loves you or the one that you love here. Um, we are going to take a look at the messages that are coming in for you here. As always guys, these messages are general, so please just be mindful of that throughout the uh, tarot reading. Now if you are interested um, in a personalized tarot reading with me, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will provide you with my email address just below the video here in the show more section along with all the information that you will need. So the messages here are intended for Aries Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. And of course for those of you that may be dropping into Crosswatch. So let's take a look what is it. Uh, let's just take a look at the messages that you might need to know or are being guided towards here. Okay, you do have the Emperor. Okay. The Nine of Wands here. Um boundaries okay i feel like someone he may be overstepping their boundaries with you or you feel as though you may need to put up more firmer and more rigid boundaries in place or you may feel as though the person here the one that you love or the one that loves you you may feel as though they can be a little bit too rigid sometimes maybe they have too too many boundaries of their own um, maybe they are someone who, who's scared to push the boundaries or someone who's scared to push the envelope you know the emperor is someone who is known to be a man of tradition here um, and oftentimes he is he can be quite traditional in his ways and he can be someone who does seek a traditional partner here so maybe you are romantically involved with someone who you know is very traditional upholds traditional um, family religious or family beliefs here um, and is someone who I feel like is seeking uh, a traditional relationship with a traditional partner here I feel like this is someone who is very set in his or her ways someone very um, they like it their way because it's tried it's tested it works and they like to stick to what works here now with the nine of wands this is your um energy maybe you feel as though this person sometimes has you know their boundaries are a little bit too firm a little bit too rigid or this person is someone who keeps you at a bit of an emotional distance they may love you but maybe sometimes you feel that the love feels more like a it feels more like a business transaction than romantic love at times here yeah. okay because yeah this is someone you know they want what they want they want a relationship and you're you know you're a very suitable partner but maybe you feel like it lacks romance here and this is you you know you're on you're on guard here okay ten of wands your energy here um so i am seeing that Maybe you're the one feels as though you're doing all the work here when it comes to this relationship. Maybe you feel as though something about this connection here feels like it's a little bit too strenuous. It's hard work. It's it's too much of a challenge or it's actually uh, something he is weighing on you. It could be the fact that uh, maybe you feel as though this person is someone who keeps to themselves. They keep their cards close to their chest. Um, but I, to me, I'm getting you being weighed down by something. Something he is bothering you, Aries. You need to, and you're keeping it to yourself. Um, that's not good. It's not healthy because I feel like eventually here, my dears, you will crumble under the pressure. So I am seeing that it's very important for you to share this load. Okay, relationships... Yes, all relationships are work, but if they feel so, if they feel like they're driving you to exhaustion, it's probably not a good thing. It's probably something that you might have to look into here with the Ten of Wands. So be careful here. You know, the message I feel like is to, you need to offload or you need to share your load here. Okay, a few cards did pop out, so let's see. Okay, the Page of Cups in reverse here. Someone I feel like isn't, you feel as though the person that you're dealing with, they may love you, but they may not tell you that they love you from time to time. There could be some emotional blockages as well. Maybe this isn't someone who emotion expresses themselves. Maybe this is someone who is a little bit guarded, a little bit closed off. Or yet again, I'm feeling like um, they're all, well, these ones are in reverse. Yet again, I'm feeling this is someone who is a bit, maybe you feel as though this person isn't as warm or maybe this person suddenly turned a little bit cold or a little bit distant they could have 
I'm getting that they're blocking you and I'm getting that this person doesn't communicate to you. They don't emotionally open themselves up. But just because they don't talk about it doesn't mean that they don't love you or doesn't mean that they don't care. I do feel like they care, but I do feel like they're also very guarded um, and they're not good when it comes to, you know, um, the language of love or matters of the heart. They're not very good at emotionally communicating here. Now with the two, two of swords as well, um, I'm seeing blockages here. So Maybe you feel as though this person is pushing you away or you feel as though they're blocking you here. Or for some of you, maybe this person has physically blocked you in the past. You do have the magician and the magician here, I feel like, is a reminder that... Um, you know, you have everything you need to make this relationship work, but it's important that you don't do it on your own here, Aries, because that's not how this thing works. Relationships are a two-way street. So in order for this to manifest and in order for this to truly unfold as, you know, as you envision it here, the both of you need to cooperate with one another, okay? It's not, you can't do, you can't possibly do all the heavy lifting when it comes to this connection. Um, it works the same in reverse as well. So just be mindful that, you know, with the magician, you are manifesting. So you are manifesting. Um, the magician is often associated with the number one, and it is a number of new beginnings and, also, and um, opportunities here. So I feel like you will have an opportunity to clear the air, or you will have an opportunity to confront this person here, is what I'm seeing. An opportunity to maybe express yourself. Let let them know how you're feeling, or let them know that sometimes you feel as though this person is a little bit cold or distance distant towards you here. Um, so yeah, magician here is taking inspired action, and you do have the power here. You do have the power at your disposal, but it's all about how you use your power here. Okay. Um, It's magician, the magician's alchemy here that is, I feel like that's where the magic is, right? And what I'm seeing is, you know, you, the two of you have what it takes to, um, to go the distance. The two of you can be a very um, dynamic, you know, uh, the dynamic duo, a very strong and powerful couple here. But I feel like you guys need to come together here and you need to sort of, I feel like you guys need to go on on, um, on a quest here to manifest a clear vision, establish a clear vision, create a clear vision here. Because being motivated is not enough. You need to sort of, um, there needs to be that connection, that soul connection here to what it is that's motivating you. Okay, you have the Eight of Cups here. I'm, I'm seeing that where you're struggling with this individual is that lack of emotional connection. Um, that's not to say that it's there, that it's not there, but I feel like, to me, it's almost like a clash of the elements. Something here, you could be a fire, you know, well, you are a fire energy, and they can be like a water energy, like, or, you know, if they're an air energy, it's like two very different, it's like opposing elements here, and maybe this is where you guys clash. Because with the Eight of Cups, I'm seeing that maybe you feel as though this person is um, they're pulling away from you. Or you feel as though, you know, you may feel like they love you. But at times they act so cold and so distant that you question yourself. But you keep going back to this individual. I feel like you keep going back to this individual. Or you keep making excuses for this individual. Or even though they push you away, you try to get closer here, um, Aries. It's like you can't keep away here look you know you do have um you do have the magician which is a powerful card and i feel like you have what it takes to to either manifest this or to either possibly put an end to this because you can still love someone and set them free because i'm sensing that there is a strong emotional disconnection okay um, there is an opportunity, as I mentioned, for a lot of you to, to be able to resolve feeling this way. You need to address it. You need to nip it in the bud now before it, it gets worse and spirals out of, the, out of control here. Okay, so what else? Okay, you've got the Eight of Wands in reverse. 
you know, you feel as though the one that loves you, you feel like they love you, but they don't always tell you or they don't always show you. Um, and you need that. You need that as confirmation. You need that as validation is what I'm seeing here. Again, I feel like it's very important. You guys aren't talking here. You guys, or you know, you do talk, but you're not properly communicating. You need to communicate the matter. Um, you know, what's at heart here? You need to communicate what's troubling you. Because with the Eight of Wands, you feel as though this person is, you know, the, fl the flames have been flickering um, on this connection. They have been slowly dwindling here. So the flames don't burn as brightly as they once did. And with Judgment here landing on top of the Magician here, for some of you, I feel like, I mean, this is huge. You will either have the opportunity to begin something new with this person, or you will have the opportunity to end the connection here purely because of this lack of emotional connection or something he is missing something this person may tick so many may check so many of your boxes but there's something that's very important to you that they can't give you something that isn't present unfortunately in your connection and i feel like for some of you you know you are going to be maybe on the verge you are on the verge or you are going to be thinking about ending this connection because whatever it is that's missing it's not there and you're all in search of it. You need it. You need that final chalice. You need it. You crave it. You want it. It's yours. But it, it, not just yet. So I feel like some of you are going to be ending it. Because you're going to go in search for what's on the other side of that mountain. That missing piece. Okay guys. There you have it. So thank you for watching. For listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel. I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings. So stay tuned. And um, bye for now.